Hi guys and welcome to another episode of Moms Know Best, where we share a weekly dose and ex of issues experienced through our own lives and like-minded people. As moms, partners, friends, and business owners, we do all sorts of things for our family, support units, clients, and of course the community. And at times, we find ourselves stuck in need of that extra support. And that is the reason why my BFF and I created this platform so that we are reminded that we are not alone and that there are others out there with similar experiences that can inspire, empower, and teach us how to cope with these issues, with these situations. I am your host, Mafe Yuna Velasco, and on our episode today, we will be joined by a special guest who's an amazing, chic, person, personal stylist trained by Australian Style Institute. But before we do that, let me introduce my beautiful co-host, Yona Signo. Hi, BFF. Hello, BFF. Hi, Mafe. Magandang hum to everybody um, who are joining us on Kuru. And hello to all of our viewers on Facebook. Yes, Mafe, today we have another amazing um, and beautiful special guest here at Mums Know Best. I've known this amazing woman for years now, and I can just say that she's truly an inspiring and emp an empowered woman that people are just absolutely drawn to. But before we meet our guests, we just want our viewers to know that there are that here at Mums Know Best, our aim is to spread beautiful and positive stories from people who are not just amazingly talented but are truly inspirational. That's why we invite guests to share how they were able to become who they are today and what life experiences and learnings they've had to reach certain points in their lives. Yeah, that's right, Yona. I mean, empowering and inspiring people is beyond how you look in your social media, but more on your true personality behind the camera. But it is also true that how you look what you're wearing and how you present yourself also plays a part in how people perceive and more importantly how you feel about yourself even if you work from home or run your business at home you still need to be presentable when working with clients or even facing customers because you present your your work or your business and and you know they say judge a book by its cover um, as much as we don't want to believe that that is the norm you know um, yeah. people tend to to always judge how you look before they even want to like speak to you. But when you're yeah. able to put um, your personality as well as how you look together and they're just, it's just like a wow. But yeah. yeah, that's so true. I think, you know, as much as um, we don't like to say it, it is, it is a reality that people do, um, you know, uh, just judge a book by its cover, like you said, but more importantly, um, they really just assess how <laughs> should I approach this person or not? Um, you yeah. know, as, as unfortunate as sometimes because there are people who are just amazing, but they might not know, um, you know, how to style themselves or, you know, how to dress themselves up. And, you know, because many people work from home and online these days, um, some people feel like it just doesn't matter to, um, you know, to dress up or anything. I know I feel sometimes, you know, I, we've had meetings before where I'm like up top, I've got like a blazer on, but down below I've got my tracky dacks on. So it's, uh, you know, <laughs> absolutely funny. But just like we said, the way we look impacts how we feel. So looking presentable and, and more importantly, feeling happy and confident is really something that will help us. Um, you know, help us uh, just boost our confidence, really. So our guest for today is an amazing personal stylist of On V Styling. And, it's, and she's definitely a remarkable woman who can tell us about sustainable fashion and personal styling to boost our confidence. So, yes, without further ado, let's welcome Jackie Fahey. Hey. Hi. Hi. Cheers, Hi, Jackie. Hi. <laughs> How are you? We're good. We are How are you? Looking good are above you? the board there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I made sure that I was looking really well from, from this this way upwards. <laughs> I know. It, we we it, put it, the it, colours on for you today. See? Oh, yeah. yeah. We, we, we normally don't talk about what we don't talk about what we wear, but we always somehow the universe align. And today we we felt like we had to put some colour on us because we knew we had such a professional stylist that we're going well, to talk to. I've gone with the sparkle um, today <laughs> to, um, and you're right, what, the clothes that we wear do have an impact on, on how we feel and also how we present ourselves and the confidence that we feel. And you mentioned before about 
um, people um, judging a book by, by, the, by its cover. But there is a statistic that it, it takes something like six seconds for somebody to form an opinion based on um, not necessarily what you're wearing because what we need to remember is style is not just fashion and clothes. It's more of an expression. You know, it's how it's how you move, it's how you speak, it's how your facial expressions are, it's how open you are, um, and it's really how confident um, you're feeling in, in what you're wearing. So, um, yeah, there's, there's a lot to this um, this yes. style. <laughs> and before we get to the nitty gritty of you know what you're sharing already, can you share with everyone a little bit of your background and? Um, and the personal style business. Tell us how all that started. Mm -hmm. So, look, I don't remember a time when I didn't love some sort of um, fashion. Uh, going all the way back to when I was a little girl, um, I was dancing. Um, I even got to perform at the Opera House one day. Ooh. Now, I wasn't very good at dancing, mind you. Let's, let's just get that out in the open. However, what I was drawn to was the clothes the color the you know the and as soon as i put on those costumes just straight away you thought i thought i could um just do anything i was invincible and i think that's the important thing i was a terrible dancer but i felt so good wearing those clothes and it just it made me feel uh confident so that's where i kind of started and then I, there's a photo i saw recently of myself um when I was probably 12 or 13, absolutely rocking a purple tracksuit. So purple, oh, hair, purple top with a cockatoo on it. Now, it wasn't necessarily fashionable, but you know what? I loved it. It made me feel wonderful and um, happy. So I wore it. I didn't, <laughs> I didn't really care what other people thought. Yeah. Um, then I kind of moved on to, um, to doing some beauty therapy. Um, but about that time, I fell into the world of um, information technology, so IT. But in parallel, I've always um, either studied beauty therapy. I was a makeup artist for 10 years. Then I decided I wanted to do some fashion design. So I did that for a few years. And nothing ever kind of felt right to me. And then it must have been two years ago, um, I had this light bulb moment when I saw this course at Australian Style Institute, which was how to become a, a personal stylist. And the way they pitched it was, you know, would you like to go shopping for a living? Hell yeah. <laughs> so that, was, that was, you know, the absolute um, um, ideal. So um, I did my training with um, with Australian Style Institute and. So, look, now by day, I, I'm still working for the government, um, you know, in the IT industry, but the rest of the time I'm just consumed by all things fashion and, and, and style and so on and working with people to to help them get out of perhaps their style ruts and, and, and things where they feel that or times where they don't feel confident or they're sick of their wardrobe and so on. So On V Styling um, was um, launched probably about 12 months ago. So... Early stages, really looking forward to, to this year to taking it to the next level and also looking at the impact. You know, as you said, people are less inclined to uh, to dress up because of this whole pandemic thing. So it's been been some interesting times um, and I just, you know, trying trying to keep up and, and um, just see where things take us. I love that. I love that how you shared your motivation. You want people to feel good. Right, oh, and that is my whole motivation. Yeah, and and it's very timely right now. I mean, like you, we were chatting about earlier. You know, even if we are only seen from chest high, it doesn't mean that we don't need to be. You know, have that lippy on. I mean, for me personally, I know when I put my lipstick on, I know I'm ready to go. I'm ready to you know rock That's and roll me. or inspire That's other me. people and. I, I hear that from your journey. So thank you for sharing that. I know Yona has more questions for you. Yeah, I know. I absolutely love it. And I know you do wardrobe makeovers, consultations, workshops, and of course, personal shopping. Um, and mind you, Mafe, I must share. Uh, so Jackie and I have known each other for years, as I mentioned. And, mm -hmm. you know, as she mentioned, she was in the IT industry. 
clean information technology. And so was I. And so that's where we got together. And given the fact that information technology is, um, is predominantly, uh, you know, male, uh, male in the, in the office and you see Jackie come in all styled up from head to toe and looking impeccable. And so it was just like, oh, wow. So it was like a real breath of fresh air, you know, having Jackie join us. So in actual fact, it inspired me to, you know, wear heels. Like, again, remember Jackie would, you know, occasionally wear my, wear my heels and just, yeah. and then I started to wear dresses, you know? So, yeah. you know, it's amazing what this woman can do. And it's um, it's amazing how, you know, you're, you're just, you're, you're constantly inspiring, um, even if we're far away now. So, you know, but not too far because not everything far. can start really. So, like you, um, how do you as a person create your own sense of fashion um, or your own unique style that sets you apart from the rest? So, and that's really important, you know, being like having your own style because this is my style. I'll quite happily wear this to the coffee shop. I'll wear it, you know, everywhere. To work, it doesn't matter. I'm, I'm happy. This makes me happy um, and I don't mind dressing up all the time because that's me. So when I do work with people, it is important that they do understand that I, my aim is not to style someone as a version of me. Um, and, you know, in a style consult not long ago, one of one of the questions, so we, we do a consultation before we, we work out what people are after, whether it is a wardrobe audit or a shopping session, and one of the questions is, um, whose style do you admire? And this is to get a bit of an idea of, you know, what people are being drawn towards. And one lady said to me, your style. I, I love everything about your style. Mm. So flattering as it is, I said, okay, let's, let's drill into that a little bit more. What is it about my style that you admire? And she said, you look put together. You look mm. like... You care you look like yeah you just look like you've, you've got everything together so it wasn't about me wearing sparkles or sequins or anything like that it was only that um so look my style is about and my style i think my style has changed very much over the years but how i approach it now has has changed a bit in that i'm i'm passionate about sustainable um fashion Mm -hmm. uh, you've probably heard the term fast fashion, which is just people yeah. buying lots of different things. You see yeah. something on the rack, it's, you know, it's, um, it, it's, it's, um, I'm saving $20. I'm just going to buy five of those because people are a bit, um, worried about, you know, exploring new things. So my style has kind of been, um, or I've become passionate about taking s smaller amounts of items and wearing them many different ways. So, um, mm -hmm. There's a dress that I wore today, which I've had for probably 12 years now. I still love it. I'm not sick of it any at all because I can wear it, you know, lots of different ways. Um, some of the clients I work with have items in their wardrobe that they love, but they're sick of them because they think they can only wear it with one type of, mm. one type of, you know, because that's all they've, you know, ever done with it. So. I've really been trying to push the boundaries with myself to mix and match things and, and do just do different things, even with T-shirts. You know, today I was mucking around with a T-shirt that I had over a dress. Yeah. I think I, I started about five different ways um, today, just playing around with pulling it in different directions. And the difference it can make to, to your look um, is, is amazing. Um, I've also been investing a little bit in some... I don't know if you've heard of the word capsule wardrobe. Some people mm. like to have a wardrobe which is made up of, you know, a good pair of jeans, a good pair of, pair of black pants, perhaps, you know, one leather jacket, one denim jacket, T-shirt, yeah. you know, and, and things that where you buy kind of 10 things and they can make up maybe 15 or 20 outfits. Um, so over the last couple of years, I've been not shopping in, in bulk, let's say. Yeah. And I've been purchasing or investing in a couple of um, pieces and then styling those different ways. So, you know, a pair of leather pants, for example, that I've had for about two and a half years now, but, you know, just wearing them different ways um, all the time. So, you know, some of the stats are um, amazing for um, 
people's wardrobes. One of them is that we only wear, and I've got it here somewhere, we, we wear 20% um, of our clothes 80% of the time. Mm, so yeah. imagine that our wardrobes are just jam-packed. And then going on from that is, is your landfill where people are just going, I don't know what to do with all of this, so I'm just going to, you know, wow. um, throw it all away. So, look, I'm constantly experimenting. Um, I like to change things up, you know, just change the look completely by changing my makeup, making it softer, making it bolder, mm. changing it while adding some jewelry or not you know yeah. it's just I have so much fun and I love getting into um I love getting into people's wardrobes and saying show me what show me what's in there you know what have you got in here that you love that you're just you, you don't wear and it yeah. might be oh, I love this pair of red boots but I've got nothing to wear it with why oh because I think I can only wear it with red well guess what there's no rules and we're gonna yeah. have a look at that so yeah. that's what I do just throwing different things together and having fun. I love that because I think one of the uh, the amazing things about fashion really is, you know, people, they tend to get a little bit afraid to uh, experiment. And I yes. suppose what you say is that really what's stopping us is just really our imagination and just giving it a try. So having you on board and the, yeah, well, which, which will actually increase the confidence, I think just, you know, even just in your own wardrobe, like you don't have to walk out of house with it, but just to explore, just like what you did today, you just played around with a T-shirt. Yeah, you, exactly. And and I guess that's one of the things that you you know, advocate in terms of falling in love with your wardrobe again. And, yes. you know, um, and that's what I love. I love what you stand for at On V Styling because, you know, the whole sustainable fashion, um, it's also, you know, environment environmentally friendly. Um, yeah. It's also friendly to the pocket. Yes. Um, and for you, you're also able to assist everybody through fashion styling as well as I know that you're also a makeup artist. So mm. um, you're trained. And so for you to be also be able to provide, you know, guidance and tips, right? Because like you said, just even just mm. a different color on the lips yeah. will make a difference. A bit of highlighter. Hi, a bit of highlighter there. Mm. I love that. Well, I just we quickly saw a picture with um, you and Dan peeping on the bottom, and you know, I know that the both of you have um, you know busy schedules. So how do you juggle everything like your personal life, work, and then especially now with your business? I um, look what what um, COVID obviously was a real wake up call for everybody. Um, what I did right from the beginning of of when that happened, and what I've always done, I suppose, is that. I have my compartments, you know, during the day so that I wake up in the morning. I've chosen my outfit from the night before and I've always done that and I would recommend that everybody do that, which takes the stress out of waking up the next morning and going, ah, what am I going to wear today? Mm. So um, I'm organised in that respect so that I know that I can wake up fresh and not have to think about that. You know, I just do my makeup. I know what makeup I'm wearing because I've already chosen my outfit. So for me, having that organisation um, is really good. Then, you know, I, I spend the day focusing on my um, my IT uh, job. Lunchtime, I sneak off and do a little bit of research and, you know, what's the latest and what's the new trend and what colours are coming up and, oh, beaded handbags are coming out soon. So that's usually my lunch hour. So I get a little bit of styling and fashion in there. Um, now that I don't shop online as much, I've, I've kind of dropped that habit, which is which is good. Um, and then, at, you know, four o'clock in the afternoon, my husband usually finishes work at the same time. So I move away from my desk. I get changed into my workout gear and I have a workout and we go for a bit of a walk. And then we spend the next few hours, um, you know, conversing about the day and, and catching up and talking about times that are coming up. Uh, and then I'll dedicate a few hours after that to you know Aww. again researching what what's what's coming up in in um in trends what's coming up for the new seasons so yeah i think for me it's just having those time slots that i'm organized with and and stick to that that works for me yeah no i love oh, I, I know photo shoot <laughs> so if yeah, i like today so i dressed and i went yes this is all about sustainability so i was out the front at eight o'clock this morning snap and then back into you know getting to work, but then I wrote the post at lunchtime, so it doesn't interfere with uh, with my work. 
So that's yeah. an example of my day. Oh, I love it. I love it. And it's, um, you know, I know for you, you are super passionate about fashion and styling and everything in between, because I know I would get this amazing idea from you and you'd be like, oh, this is what I, what do you think of this? And I know you love to brainstorm uh, even, you know, in the wee hours of the night because, yeah. because you love it. You love it. Yeah. You absolutely love what you do and you really are passionate with helping others, you know. I am. Yeah. That's what I love it. And that's what I love about um, what you're doing. And, you know, throughout this process, and I know some people are wondering, how could, how would this be possible if, like, you know, given there's some restrictions at the moment, uh, what have you, what you know, how have you, you know, uh, pivoted, so to speak, yes, is it, yes. so that you can, can provide that for others still? Well, we're lucky that um, we can have sessions like this. We can do things online. We can, um, and because I was in Orange, um, you know, out in the Central West, um, a lot of my sessions are really that I would put, say it's somebody who's looking for some new items for their wardrobe. They're kind of, you know, we've had a bit of a look. We can do that virtually. As you can see, part of my wardrobe is behind me. So it's quite easy to work with somebody, you know, in, in a session like this. Um, nothing beats face to face, but you know it, this still works, and I think people are you know kind of used to that. So you can easily do a wardrobe audit, um, which means basically that you're trying on everything in your wardrobe, and you're being brutally honest about it. When was the last time you wore it? Has it still got the tags on it? Why have you got it? It's got sentimental value. It's expensive. I can't let it go. So you can still do it, you know, in this way. And then once you understand the client's brief, you can go away. Do all your research online um, and based on the, you know, the consultation and what your client has indicated they might like to add to their wardrobe, they might say, I want to add more prints. You know, I want to find a really nice pair of high-waisted black pants. I want to get some more colour, you know, in, in but I, I'm, I'm a bit scared about it, so we need to introduce it, you know, slowly. Um, so what I can do is put together shopping carts and show people that way. Um, how they could, based on your, you know, what you've told me, I think you might like these items. So, and these days, because you can return things, it's it's quite um, quite easy to, you know, be bold and try a few different things. So yeah, look, we're lucky with technology that we can we can certainly um, work together this way. Yeah, hundred percent. Like you, face to face, um, right before COVID hit. Um, and, you know, there's no reason why I can't run workshops this way as well. Yeah, no, 100%. The three of us, uh, the, just the three of us here, we're all from different locations and we've exactly. all, you know, gotten together and we're mm. at this one online space right now. How good yeah. is that, hey, Mafe? Right. Yeah, totally. I'm all the way in the Philippines. Yonas in Sydney. Are you still in Orange right now? Yeah, right now. I'm in Orange. Wow. I, I remember because I used to play tennis and I just brought back memories because my dad and I used to travel like long distance just for a tennis game. So Orange is one of them. I think that's Orange. the first I went. Quite, quite <laughs> a sporty town. So yes, no, I, I, I sporty yeah. town. Yeah. I was telling Mark that next time we come, um, she comes here to Australia once, you know, lockdown is over, um, yeah. we're going to visit you. I told Absolutely. her that. I was like, we're going to visit Jackie sure. in Orange. I would insist. <laughs> I would insist. Yeah, I can't wait. I can't wait. I can't wait. I miss Australia. I miss now. I miss the wine and cheese and everything. All the good stuff that I didn't really appreciate when I was there. But yes, now I have something to look forward to. But I know Yona spoke about um, you know how you started, what's your passion, um, how you balance your your life and business and things like that. Did you mention the aha moment yet, Yona, or do you want me to ask that? No, I was, well, for me, I think it was really, um, you know, for, for Jackie, I wanted to first discover what, um, how she was moving in from, because people would really be thinking, how do we do personal styling? And so right. I suppose that, that does, you know, lead into what have you been, what are your aha moments, um, you know, throughout, throughout your business journey? Um, I think, well, you know, the aha moments, I just, 
it's the joy that I get out of working with somebody who'll start with I just I don't know what to wear I just mm. I feel stressed every day when I get off knowing you know what what what, what I'm gonna wear so I worked with someone who came uh, in an outfit which was jeans and a t-shirt and, and a pair of thongs uh, and that was it head my back and she, she came like that in the you know in the door to greet me and um we and and people have also have the assumption that having a stylist means that you have to spend a lot of money when when you go shopping and that is absolutely um not true um we took a little trip to kmart and we got her some new flat shoes uh a nice scarf um with a little bit of color in it uh some new little gold earrings i think um we took her hair out I put some highlighter in her cheeks and a little bit of gloss on her lips and, you know, did a, did a face a little bit, just still all very natural. Uh, I think we got her a belt as well. And I tell you what, she spent $60, I think, at Kmart and she yeah. was just amazed. So when she left our session, her shoulders were back. She had some oh, sweat and she had a real spring in her step as she, as she went off the street. So for me, that's... That is everything that wow, yeah, I love want to see, you know, uh, of people or, or, you know, people that I've styled that I start seeing on Instagram, you know, a few weeks later, rocking the things that we selected for them. Oh, and yeah. It's just, you know, the aha moment is that th this is real. You know, you, you can actually change people's lives through them expressing their their style and you, you yes. can see it you can see the confidence um yeah but did that answer, did that answer yeah that? no i'm sure it did it did and just to verify <laughs> i wanted to just um kind of verify with our viewers in the us and in asia and in the philippines that thong is slippers oh. Um, so, I just wanted to go behind that. So it was a flip flip slippers, not 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 the thong that you're used to in your country. It's so it's yeah, to yeah. That she didn't have thong, a thong over her jeans. <laughs> I just had to verify that because people might have like because we've got viewers outside of Australia and they'll be like, "That is a very doing? good point." I'm glad you cleared that up. Yeah, it's funny you caught that, Emma, because maybe I've been. You know, I saw you so jiggle. Good. I'm so good. I can wear the Aussie slang now. I, I didn't even catch that. Yeah. 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 Heavy on it. Everybody knows. Yeah. Heavy yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm glad you are listening. But anyways, you know, um, I have to say, I always have admired stylists. You know, I've been in the fashion industry for quite some time. Um, I'm the one that they're dressing, and I've, I watch how they work and. Just the concentration in their eyes. You see the passion oozing and just putting things together. I mean, for me, I'm simple. Like maybe I learned how to put color, you know, on my sense of style. But I just yeah. see how stylists like you just put outfits together, and I'm just like, why yeah. don't I think of that? You know. <laughs> and I always tell Yona, I was I'm just an earrings girl. You know, earrings, lip gloss, and heels probably. The rest I don't know, and I don't care kind of thing but yeah your your position is so important in people's lives especially people who are clueless and like you were saying just shoulders back you see the the mm -hmm. like the face light up mm -hmm. and the way they, they would strut their you know their new look yeah i love that i love your, um, I, do, your I do give reminders as well so if we go through somebody's wardrobe um obviously yeah. if we're doing it virtually i would need someone to take the photos yeah. for me if I say try that, you know, orange T-shirt with that blue skirt or something or other, then what I also do is put together a bit of a lookbook to remind people because you know we, we don't always remember those things. I don't remember myself, um, you know, and often oh that's right I forgot about you know that combination that I used to wear. So um, it's also good for you know for clients to have that reminder that they can always go back to, and it gives them an idea then when they're shopping to say. Oh, orange and blue does go together. Blue and green go together right. because there's no rules. Yeah. It's exactly you know, there are no rules. It's really yeah. your confidence within. Absolutely. And believe in yourself. Sometimes you have to try it gradually, but yeah, that's what it's about. Right. 
exactly. And what's funny, Yana you know, and I have a uh, friend who is um, a Con KonMari uh, mm -hmm. decluttering expert. And I, I want to ask you because we always ask her, like when someone really has a sentimental outfit yes. or mm -hmm. object, Jackie, what do you do? <laughs> you have to kind of give them tough love to say, hey, you have to let it go. You keep wearing You've got to read the signs, okay? You've got to go in gently. You've got to, first and foremost, listen. You know, hold your space and just really listen, 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 which is, you know, um, what I do rather than rescuing, I guess. So it's yeah. listen, listen, um, park that for a minute. Okay, let's come back to that. But that's, I, I hear what you're saying. Um, what else? Let's look at some other things in your wardrobe. And um, it, it kind of takes its own journey and I don't necessarily have to do anything because I don't know somehow through the process of the wardrobe audit the clients usually come to that realization themselves and by the end of the session we could be filling up garbage bags of, of, of things oh. and at, which, at which point I'm going okay let's just just breathe let's not you know <laughs> go let's not go too far so what we do is actually kind of separated into three piles which is you know I really love this I want to keep it it looks good on my body it fits me yeah. if it's ill-fitting put it in the maybe pile for now we might be able to or you know to order um to alter it if it's really something you know that, no it's got to go it's got holes in it it's, you know hey, come on it's, it's got to go that that'll go into the you know the get rid of pile um so it's a good process to go through um, to do that. And, and I also talk about that you don't have to throw your clothes away. You know, if they are in good condition and you do have a bit of sentimental value, um, if you if you can see yourself, you know, clear to, to parting with it, you could actually get, you know, recoup some money for yourself, which will help then with, you know, with our shopping, shopping session if you do want to um, plug the gaps that we find then in the end. Um, the other thing that I'll mention is that Iconic um, has a program where you can, they call it Giving Made Easy. So if you log on to the Iconic website, you can actually print out a postage label and attach it to any kind of satchel. And you can also just put your clothes in, in there, as long as they're in good condition, obviously, and send them back and they distribute them to um, people who are in need of, of clothing and so on. So the, pro oh, okay. the process actually kind of works for itself. And um, I, I thankfully don't have to do too much because most people come to that realization themselves. Yeah. Have you ever had, I mean, maybe this is like a personal question now, um, a mother and daughter client? No, not yet. <laughs> not yet. Oh, okay. <laughs> I can't even wait for this. Can you, is this, is this, <laughs> is this a like, Maybe for me, I have like sentimental like clothes or gifts that my husband gave me. And it's funny because we, we're celebrating our 16 years today at wedding. Yay. And I've had these shirts. Sure. Thank you. I had this shirt um, before I had kids. And my kids just saw the picture recently. I'm like, oh, mom, does that shirt you have in your closet? I'm like, I know because it's the first shirt that your dad gave me as, as a gift. I've tried so many times to give it to my daughter because she, she can, it fits her now. And she's just like, no, mom, it's not my style. So I was like, I don't want to give it away, you know? So what's your advice for me? <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, you got to go through it. Just wait till Sydney goes off. Oh. I think well, okay, look, there are options there. You know, you could talk about, I mean, I think you do need to back off slightly. That would be my first, um, <laughs> you know, take it, take it. It's obviously not working. So let's just park that, um, you know, method. <laughs> <laughs> what if you could alter it in such a way that you, you're keeping the sentimentality of it, but it's fashioned into um, a piece that your daughter would actually like? Mm. Is that something to consider? That's true. 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 That's true. Yeah. Have so to kind of, right you know, she understands the importance of it, you know, and but what if, yeah. you know, we should, so should restyle it so that you know, so that it'd be something that you would like to wear. <laughs> oh my God. You laugh at me, Jackie. Because, I mean, um, again, well, going back to the fashion industry, 
I was given a lot of clothes from designers. Yeah. So to me, it's, it's sentimental value. So when I give it to my daughter, she's like, ew, mom. Like, I'm like, yeah. oh, you don't realize that this well, designer is so amazing. There's the generation, <laughs> you know? Yeah. I learned that. So mom's out there. Yeah, <laughs> there'll come a day. And yeah. right style just comes back anyway. It will. Right? She will. So hold on to it. You hold on to it. Like it later. That's how I wish. How I wish I had my mom's flares and all her like nice yes. clothes. Yeah. Like, hindsight. Hindsight's a great thing, yeah. isn't it? Yes, <laughs> Knowing yeah. We wanted to keep all of those things. <laughs> yes. Yeah. But at the, time, at the same time, yeah. though, like. You know, we have to also make sure that it does look good on her <laughs> um, before you're giving it yeah, away. I'm kind of giving advice blind here. I, I don't really, you know, I'm not sure. <laughs> said said sure. Because Jackie, the, Jackie says this. This is one of Jackie's mottos that I've, I've learned from her. Just because you can, it doesn't mean you should. And I think that is so true. So even like though you can give it away, you have to think about whether you should be giving it away. I don't know what you're talking about, so I don't know. It might, it might, I'm sure it's beautiful. <laughs> I'm just saying. Maybe we'll have a separate session about the show. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But anywho, exactly. Like, you know, um, you're so amazing, and I'm sure a lot of people would love to follow your footsteps. And if so, what would be your advice to them? I think that... Um, I think some people, um, and there's different avenues you can go into in, in the styling world. So you've got your um, editorial um, fashion shoots. You've got, you know, food styling. There's so many different um, styling uh, industries that, that, you, that you can work in. So I think it really depends um, where someone's interest um, lies. And... You know, well, the college that I went to, Australian Style Institute, and there's and there's others around. Um, I would certainly highly recommend because they have different levels of courses. So you can start off with your your basic um, course, which gets you a little bit of information about, um, you know, working with people and how to build people's confidence, um, the fashion industry itself, where to find resources and so on, um, how to conduct your consultations and interviews and what to do with that information how to do your wardrobe edits, uh, and there's a, a little um, process we do called a um, uh, the mirror strategy, which um, I won't go into because that's all part of the process that, that I have. And then you can build on that. So one of the things I was interested also in doing was running workshops and working with larger groups of people. And ultimately, I've, I've mentioned this um, to both of you, I think, is that I would like to take groups of people um, overseas for a bit of a pamper luxury um, trip and also um, to have, you know, I could curate a wardrobe um, and we could have it made, you know, in, in, a, in a country of choice. So that's my ultimate goal. So I felt for me to get there, I wanted to do the formal training. And I think that Australian Style Institute has, has actually given me um, all of that. Oh, I'm so excited for that. And we're going to make it happen, right, Marfe? Yes, sure. that's definitely um, on my bucket list of, um, you know, to grow, you know, to, to grow on the styling into, into that kind of um, area as well. And also moving into doing some, um, maybe some virtual style sessions with groups of people. So, yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Are you getting that to the only something's happened? Yeah, with, uh, I can. Marfe, time out. We're, yeah. we're hearing like some sort of something going on coming from your end. Sounds like a ninja oh. or something. <laughs> Is that better, guys? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's yeah, better. Are. That's better. All right. Sorry about that. Um, you know, live uh, environment is yes. yeah. mishaps. So we know. Be... Anyways, we know. so as I was saying, you mentioned workshops and um, you have one coming up, right? So maybe you want to invite everybody who's tuned in right now? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, so um, in a, a few weeks' time, on a Thursday evening, I'm going to run a session and show... And look, it's been a tough year for people. You know, I know that the people have... Um, lost jobs, the, the economy's, you know, um, a little slow. So 
what I wanted to do um, as a gift back to people is, is share um, some tips and tricks on how to style a simple t-shirt or a colored t-shirt or anything um, many different ways. So um, yes, that's um, in coming up in the next four weeks. And um, I will put this um, promo up on my Instagram page and my Facebook page. And all you need to do is shoot me an email and I will register you for that. Perfect. We'll do the same as well. Thank yeah, you. we'll have it in our Mums Know Best social media platform so that everybody who is interested mm -hmm. on, you know, being a part of Jackie's inspiring workshop and, you know, it's free, so you have no it's excuse free. not to sign up. Yeah. Um, and and only something to gain. Workshop. Exactly, exactly. And get to know her more. As you can see, she's such a fabulous woman. Uh, for me, I just want to ask more questions. But... <laughs> You're a busy woman too, and I'm sure the the um, your partner is waiting for you to catch up on a day. And Yona, this is okay. an amazing interview with Jackie. Uh, would you I like know. to say? Anything? Oh, oh thank, thank you. Yeah, thank you, Jackie. Uh, you know, we've had many endless conversations with your hopes and aspirations and your dreams for on v styling and you know we are so excited to see you continue on your journey in your personal styling business and it you know you know Marfe and i are rooting for you and we're absolutely cheering you on and so you know you just let us know if there's um you know anything we can help you promote um but at the end of the day you know for everybody who's watching do reach out to jackie she's passionate about helping people yeah, and she's ask passionate questions. about ask yeah questions. Questions. exactly send her a message yeah. um you know follow her on her um social media on v styling and ask her questions you know comment on yeah. her post because she's she's she doesn't buy it she's actually really a person <laughs> And if you want, you can even send her a bottle of wine and that'll make it even better. Oh, Just joking. <laughs> well, thank you, Jackie, for, uh, for no, joining thank us. You. Thank you for having me. We hope you enjoyed. Really appreciate it. Um, it's been really lovely talking to you um, and everyone who's listening. Yes. Thanks, Jackie. I truly um, enjoy that, Yaga. I mean, I learned so much from Jackie and I love that she lives and breathes fashion. I mean, yeah. anyone that has passion oozing out of their soul, their, you know, their face is glowing. I mean, I saw it, you know, we've been talking offline with Jackie and yeah. I actually am inspired by her because you and I, we talk a lot about our passions, which is obviously yeah. you know, our why in building an empire for our children and our family. But for Jackie, I see that she is touching hearts you know, yeah. and you think that fashion is, like she said, is all about what spending money, shopping, this and that. No, it isn't. It's how you feel inside. You know, exactly. what you wear on the outside, oh, it, it does touch what your your soul. And for yeah. me, that's why I think I always share with you know the my youth, like what makes you happy. If wearing heels every day makes you happy and gives you that boost of energy. Do it. Mm. Yeah. You have to wear it like twenty four seven. But if it just gives you that, you know, boost of energy, I think, you know, that's the right thing to do if it's in your mind, right? Yeah. No, I know, one hundred percent agree. And I think, you know, what's really amazing is that um, to see Jackie through the years, and she's consistent. She's consistently fashionable. She's consistently generous with you know um you know giving people advice and her time and because she's re absolutely passionate about it and so it's been so um wonderful to see and i think for all of us you know just a, to a page out of g's book you know for us even just where whether you're wearing heels even if you're at home um, working from home or just putting on that lippy or just even doing up your hair you know just that little bit can help in, you know, bringing you like bringing up um, happiness just for, you yeah. know, for the day. And then tomorrow it'll be a new day and you, you can do something different. And I think, you know, for us, we just, we can help ourselves to, you know, um, help with our own well being. So it's really exciting and I'm, I'm so grateful uh, for what we've learned today. And I think, yeah, you're right. We could have just kept chatting and chatting and chatting um, because that's, that's the effect that um, Jackie has on us. But anyway, 
I want to just say a big thank you to all of our viewers. Uh, thank yeah. you to our, you know, our done, um, our teams, um, and also, you know, to our number one fans and our parents, especially our moms, um, and also to uh, Paulie, who's um, who's tuned in all the way from Switzerland. Hello, Paulie. Hi, Paulie. And we've also got Bree, uh, and I believe Bree's yes, one of Jackie's uh, gorgeous friends as well. And uh, you know, uh, to everybody who's tuned in uh, in Kumu as well as on Facebook, thank you for continually supporting us. Uh, you know, we we are so passionate about empowering others and bringing joy to people in a fun environment. So we hope that you join us again. Um, you know, next week, uh, and we hope that you know us creating this online space, you know, it helps people to learn and um, to be inspired. And so we can share this with all of the mums and parents and everywhere out there here at. Yes, mums, mums, no. best. best. <laughs> <laughs> Bye guys.